Good morning, Glory Gang. It's a beautiful Sunday, September 10th, 2023. I don't really know how to start this video, so I'm just gonna go with it. So today marks the 16th anniversary of when I was in a motor vehicle accident on my second tour in Iraq. My battle buddies, combat veterans died, somebody's brother, father, grandchild, so forth and so on. Usually around this time, life just tends to take a turn like within the month leading up to maybe it's a subconscious thing i don't know on the day itself it's usually sad and it's and it's kind of somber last year wasn't as bad i was surrounded by a really good set of people where i worked you know i just try to make a conscious effort to not allow this to run over my life or run over you know the momentum i've built up in in my life at, at, at the point like i said man i'm usually drugged up in some kind of way weed alcohol meth and uh you know, it's just time out for all that. It's time to uh, really realize that it's people that aren't here, you know, and it's really time to live for those people, live for those families. And, and honestly, I pray that those families at this time are coping in a positive way, progressing, they're moving forward. Within the last couple of years, I honestly decided to dedicate my life and the things that I do for these gentlemen. And I actually implore anybody that was with me in Iraq at that time, man, to do the same. You know, these guys, they're no longer here on this earth. These kids are missing their fathers and there's wives out there missing their husbands girlfriends out there missing their boyfriends and they honestly didn't make that ultimate sacrifice for us to be down on ourselves about whatever complaining sitting our asses being lazy blaming the world uh blaming the people around us or blaming our circumstances and shit because i guarantee if those gentlemen were here man they would be living life to the maximum at least that's what i would like to believe anyway but i'm gonna put a picture of them up and i'm gonna let it run for probably about five or ten seconds if you gotta look at them longer pause it man look at these guys faces feel the energy feel their spirit imagine them talking to you imagine they would be right here in front of you talking to you and just ask yourself are you living a life that you know, would match up with what they would want us to do who they would want us to be and as far as how how hard we're pushing how long we're going the strides we're trying to take day to day the people we're affecting or the things that are affecting us like i said earlier it might seem like a selfish thing but you know it's the same thing with my oldest brother who's no longer here on this earth i tend to call on his spirit from time to time when things get rough when i need a source of strength mine is being drawn down or is being pulled out of me from the various things that i do from the very Various people that I help from the various things that affect me on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Same as calling on God. It's just more of a personal thing. You know, I've dealt with these gentlemen. I've gone on missions with these gentlemen. My brother is just my brother. It's really, really personal. Call on that. And I use that to push through, to progress, you know, to become a little more disciplined, a little more motivated. I just imagine having that conversation and the interact. What would they say? What would they think of my actions? From this year forward, we're just going to make a change. And the month leading up to this day, not starting September 1st, but August 10th, leading up to today, it's not been the best. It's been right on par with how it's been every year after that accident. And I'm going to actually link the little story, you know, one of those tabs. And I encourage y'all to watch it. It's not being braggadocious about what, you know, I went through, what I endured and what I did. Trust me, I have enough people on my side to do that for me without me even having to say anything. So it's not one of those things because I volunteered to do what I did, volunteered to go to jump school and, and, and ultimately landed in the unit I was in. I volunteered to go on the missions, but I do stand on what I did. And I do stand with those men and women now, then, currently future past all that and this country so i'm just really walking trying to get my mind sorted out for the day got an unboxing video i'm about to actually do i haven't been to the gym but i just got off a 45 day gym streak no breaks and uh just taking a little time for myself taking a little time to heal my mind heal my body prepare for what's coming and i really need to do more of a job of just really talking less about fitness or not less about fitness, but more about the other things. More restaurant reviews, more traveling, more personal testimonies. Damn, that's a badass Mustang in that garage right there. Anyways, just, just more about me personally. But like I said, the month leading up, my mom and I, we were 
we got into an argument it started really a couple weeks ago in the beginning of a week but at the end of that week i drove my mom and my daughter to you know see my brother and his wife for their uh housewarming party and everything you know went back up came back and then this monday just kind of kind of went back down again but that's okay as long as you're speaking your truth and it, it corroborates the truth get your feelings out there you're not here to really appease nobody you know but at the same time you're not here to tear anybody down either that's the good part about my rehab is that taking up for yourself is is a really big part man because i do a lot in our personal life and i just got out of rehab man seven years ago to have a house kid my son with me you know to be able to take care of my own affairs you know a lot of things i'm still learning as far as being a homeowner and insurances and different things like that and it's then some of that stuff's overwhelming a lot of that stuff's overwhelming but i do fight as far as fighting for my life not fighting other business. there's arguments there's disagreements and you know that's okay too it's all a part of life these days i don't seek to avoid those type of conversations or arguments if anything i lean into them so i can get complete understanding of myself what i can endure what i'm feeling why i'm feeling it and how to get control of it i don't have to mask anything anymore i don't have to smoke i don't have to drink i don't have to do meth coke crack you know anything for those that are willing to listen just come out with what's going on and when i speak it's not for anyone to have anything to reply for or reply to or any have any um have any advice per se a lot of it's really just a vent just so this stuff doesn't pile up day to day week to week month to month and, and get swept under a rug and then finally when that rug gets piled so high that i trip over it and all of a sudden everything that i was trying to hide just gets piled on me at one time and i can't deal that's a major part of it Let's just go back to the week i visited my brother so the beginning of that week i had a lot of stuff on my plate i still have those things on my plate roof is kind of leaking slab in the den starting to crack not the slab but the tile and stuff and the insurance company with that big storm back in june that came and tore our fence down they've been bullshitting and so it's a lot of stuff to deal with and i as a homeowner i'm responsible for all those things because not all those things are covered with insurance and that's thousands of dollars per incident and there's three incidences a roof a tile in a den an entire fence you can't pin piece of fence i mean you could piece a fence together but i'm not about to piece a fence together the first home i ever bought you know when these subjects are being brought up and they're being talked about it's like you know where's the help at why am i expected to do a lot of these things on my own and honestly it's because it's my journey it's my test of wills and it's my test of determination of who i say i want to be what i say i want to do and, and to the degree that i want to do it and by god i'm going to do it i just have to be aware of how these things affect me emotionally and don't lash out this stuff was brought up on a monday in the daytime and midday before work man and honestly i went to my room and i cried to myself silently of course i told them after the weekend was over and it was the beginning of this week but any other time man i would went and got a bag from somewhere or you know of some sort of substance and i, and I would have consumed that bag expeditiously and so i just thank god that i don't have to do that anymore I mean, I never really had to do it, but, you know, I also didn't have the resources to talk to people. And then I had fear of being judged about certain things, about my habits, about things I've done in the past. Or, and uh, those things no longer uh, stricken me. You know what I mean? Those things no longer affect me. It's not an issue because I could care less. Like I said, that's one of the first things that I lead with whenever I ask somebody to subscribe. I tell them off the bat. I'm, I'm a recovering addict and I'm a vet. I go into the elevator pitch, which I'll tell y'all about a little bit. But I just want y'all to know that no matter what you're going through, it's designed for you. Don't run away from it. Lean into it. Get to a little quiet place, man. Ask yourself, why is this thing affecting me? Why is this person affecting me? Why am I allowing it to affect it and affect me? If your day started good, then all of a sudden it's turning bad. You got to get to that quiet place and notice when the shift was. Why? the shift was and why you're allowing that shift to happen because nobody or nothing makes you do anything let's dispel that lie right now i mean it's a utter ridiculous lie oh you made me do this no nobody made you do anything you allowed that to affect you you allowed that person to affect you you allowed that day to affect me affect you and Today, I'm here to tell you I'm not allowing anybody, anything, any time, any place to affect me to that degree anymore. I'm taking control of my life with God's good grace and mercy, and I'm going to push forward. I'm going to use the people that are no longer here on this earth that were around me as help, as guidance.
I'm going to use them to push forward, to push Pat, to push to a place that I never imagined I would be. And I'm going to teach this good message along the way in hopes that whoever's willing to listen, whoever's willing to gravitate towards the message can get up and go along with it. Not with me, but if you want to, you know what I mean, join along on a ride, that's cool too. In your own journey. A lot of people allow the world to get them down for no reason. Everybody's going through the same thing, just in a different way. Don't be afraid to talk about what's going on. Don't be afraid to express what's going on. Even if it's in the comment section. Yeah, by the way, man, if you like anything that I'm talking about, feel free to like, comment, man, share. Let's get this message out. It's a message of positivity. It's a message of growth. It's a message of understanding and knowing that the old ways are gone. New things are on the horizon, new steps, new goals. And the only way to attain them things is to go through a little bit of shit. But you got to go through that shit excited. You got to go through that shit with your head held high, with your shoulders back and your chest out. It's the only way. Those are the tests that let you know or develop you into being the person that you need to be for the next level. But if you keep allowing them things to happen, you're going to stay stagnant. And I just can't allow that. You know, I have too many people that's close that depend on me, whether they live with me in my house or I got people close to me that depend on me, whether they even know it or not. Or I have friends with people that are in the same mind frame. Yeah, they have the house. They have they're taking care of the kids. They have the job. But to what extent, though, are you able to pass that down to your kids and with, with and, and to, for a generation or two if not then we still got work to do you know in my mind you're not truly successful unless you can leave your kids something that is good for generation after generation we only have this one life and it's time for us to stop with the whining and the complaining and really take a shot take your hobby to that next level it's gonna take some sacrifice everything takes sacrifice it's gonna take enduring some uncertain time it's gonna take some putting your head down and just driving forward it's gonna take some getting away from complacent friends and people it's gonna take some energy and, and fortitude to find your new set of friends or your new set of peers that you uh, aspire to be like man it's gonna take some cutting off some old friends it's gonna take a lot of sacrifices but i'm here for it you know and i hope you're here for it because that is the only way but anyway you know i love y'all and it's just time for a change it's time to develop the new you inside and out nobody's pushing a, a religious agenda on you it's more like a spiritual coming together of, of everyone and society wants us apart and that's some bullshit and so one at a time we got to fight this monopoly on our minds and our bodies you know one of the easiest things to do is just to think different so you can be different see different but uh yeah like i said i'm about to get in here this house y'all see my fence can't finally get worked on you know what i mean Man, it's a glorious thing, man. I just thank God for the ability to understand and to see how this life works, how people work, and how to sacrifice and just get to the next level, man. I, and I, I truly do, man. I may not thank God on a day-to-day -day basis, but my heart's in the right place. The people that I hang around and I call my peers and my friends will attest to the same. But um, as always, man, to God be the glory. I love y'all. I believe in y'all. Somebody believed in me before I could believe in myself. That's why I'm at this point right now. Rehab counselors, my two best friends. I mean, I can't tell you how many times they done got sick and tired of me and be smacking their head like, damn, this dude doing it again. But today's a new, you know, the last seven years has really been a new. And uh, like I said, you don't got to take my word for it. Like I said, I love y'all, man. I believe in y'all. You can do it. Just start now. Put that one foot in front of the other for an extended period of time. You know, as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. You got to crawl before you walk. And uh, as always, to God be the glory. Peace.